So before I start this movie review, I just want to give a big shout out to IMDb where I get all my information and fun facts from. Also, if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. And if you're a brand new viewer, welcome to my channel. And I would really appreciate it if you uh, would hit that little red button right down there. It would really help me out. It was disconcerting to see the sun arc in less than a minute. To see a snail race by. My flowers flinging wide their petals to embrace the new day. And the hours speeding across the face of my sundial. What's up everyone? Movie Maniac here with another movie review. This time the movie is The Time Machine, which came out in 1960. And is based on the book by H.G. Wells. It starred Rod Taylor, Alan Young, and Yvette Mimimu. And the director was George Powell. So this movie is basically about a man's vision for a utopian society is disillusioned when traveling forward into time reveals a dark and dangerous society. All right, guys. So I've seen this movie multiple times, and I really enjoy this film. I think it's great for what they did telling the story based on the book by H.G. Wells into a movie version. Um, of course, there was another movie that came out in 2002, and it was a remake called The Time Machine. It starred Guy Pierce. I mean, it was okay for the remake. I mean, nothing spectacular, like I said, is a remake. But the better version of it, just how they filmed it, the cinematography, and um, the special effects they used in the 1960 version of the film... I think it was fantastic. I mean, like they showed the scenes when he's in the time travel vehicle and he goes into the future or into the past and you see everything change around him. Like when he would go back into the past, the building he, he would be in, like the walls would just start crumbling down because when he's in the past, the building's not even made yet. It wasn't even built. Or if you see him going into the future, you see the building the walls start building up around him or into the future, more into the future. They would start crumbling because of how old into the future he's going. It's, it's really amazing. Like the little, li the little things of the movie, uh, like you see the clock winding backwards if, into the past or wind, winding forwards. If it, if he's going into the future or you see the candle deteriorating going into the future or if he was going back in the past the candle was going up because it was brand new it, uh, like I said the little things is what makes this movie happen um the cast I did I think they did a great job um the villains the Morlocks I mean they were pretty scary at the time so it was pretty interesting it really is an interesting film an interesting movie if you like time travel I highly recommend to see this film. It's a great film. The storyline was great. Like I said, it's based on the book by H.G. Wells. You can't go wrong. I mean, it has to be out there somewhere. Netflix, Hulu, Demand, Amazon Prime, whatever else is out there. If not, you could probably rent it or buy the DVD or Blu-ray somewhere out there. If it's, it's, even, it's hard to find. It is really hard to find. But if, if you're one of the lucky ones to find it, grab it and watch it. It's a classic. And now it's time for fun facts. Yvette Mimimu was actually underage when filming began. Alan Young is the only actor to appear in both this film and the remake in 2002. And I think in that film, I think he was a um, one of the was a florist or something where he worked at the flower store. So if you watch that film, there, you, there's your fun fact for that film. The film takes place in the years of 1899, 1900, 1917, 1940, 1966, 
and here we go, 802,701. Director George Powell wanted the disc on the machine to spin clockwise for travel into the future and counterclockwise for travel into the past, but it was deemed too expensive and time-consuming to add the reversing feature. The lava in the volcano scene in downtown was actually oatmeal with orange and red food coloring spilled onto a platform and slowly moved down the miniature set. Rod Taylor stood just under six feet tall. In an effort to make him appear larger, all the Eloy and Morlocks were played by much shorter actors. The time machine was used on the TV show the Big Bang Theory in 2007. And finally, this was Rod Taylor's first leading role in a major film. And that's it, guys. That is my movie review for The Time Machine, which came out in 1960. I hope you enjoyed that. As always, I smash that like button, support, share, hit that notification bell, notify my next video vlog will be up. And also hit me up on uh, Instagram or check me out on Instagram, I should say. Under Movie Mania Nick, all my pictures and videos are up there. And remember, be excellent to each other. And party on, dudes!